Hello guys, what's up? Hi guys, do you hope you guys are feeling good? Okay, today we're gonna to be checking out Dave Chappell. Dave Chappell's handicap joke. So no further ado, let's just bounce and let's see how it goes. Anyway, we all know Dave Chappell is so interesting, like so funny, and with no further ado, let's just bounce and let's see how it goes. Are you guys ready? Vamonos. Let's go. Let's go. I ain't doing trans jokes no more. You know what I'm gonna do tonight? Tonight. I'm doing your own handicap job. <laughs> handicap. Oh. We're not as organized as the gays. Okay. And I love punching down. Whew. There's probably a handicap in the back right now because that's where they usually make them sit. Whew. That was offensive. <laughs> I came here to laugh at transgender people. I didn't know this nigga was gonna make jokes about us. <laughs> Come on, y'all, let's get the fuck up out of here. Woo, that was offensive. But it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's about time somebody let these handicaps have it. They done met their match tonight. Fuck them. <laughs> One time I was on Capitol Hill and I seen a handicapped congressman. Madison Cawthorn, that's his name. <laughs> He's a Republican from North Carolina, and, 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 and he was shocked, because I, I saw him, and I, and I go, hello, Congressman. He didn't even know I knew who he was. He turned around. <laughs> then I just walked away. I wanted him to see me do something he couldn't do. Oh, damn. I skipped. <laughs> <laughs> he said he skips. Yeah. He was mad. <laughs> He's no longer a congressman. I don't know if you follow politics. Uh, I'm not trying to be funny, but <laughs> he lost his seat. <laughs> Damn. He ran a bad race. <laughs> oh, buddy, yes, he did. And you know what he did wrong? He was running for Congress again, and this motherfucker tried to be controversial. He was on all them right-wing podcasts talking all that shit. He was like, he was like, Washington is worse than Hollywood. I was at home like, what? <laughs> These people are disgusting. <laughs> they have orgies and sex parties and drug parties. And I was thinking, this nigga sounds like Juicy Smoothie. <laughs> oh, damn. He's lying. Now, I don't doubt that they do this kind of shit in Washington. But I doubt he's seen it with his own eyes. Oof. Because who the fuck invites a paraplegic to an orgy? So this nigga can roll around and snitch on everybody. <laughs> I said, there's only one reason you're gonna invite him to an orgy. And you know what that is. Have at it, guys. I can't feel anything. <laughs> oh. Let's get this bill passed for America. Jeez. One at a time, folks. Oh, my God. Oh, buddy. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, the handicaps are the new people I punched down on. To be honest with you, I've been trying to repair my relationship with the transgender community because I don't want them to think and I don't like them. And you know how I've been repairing it? Uh, I wrote a play. I did, because I know that gays love plays. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very sad play, but it's, it's moving. It's about a black transgender woman whose pronoun is sadly nigger. How? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. It's a tearjerker. <laughs> At the end of the play, she dies of loneliness because white liberals don't know how to speak to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> how can, how can someone say their pronoun is a nigga? Why? Oh my God, this is crazy. Let's go. <laughs> how would the white speak? Speaking of nigger, I've also been working on a book, and this is true. I'm rewriting the American classic. Huckleberry Finn, mm. from Nigger Jim's perspective. <laughs> it's called The Adventures of Nigger Jim. 
That's how the book starts. Huckleberry Finn walks up to him and goes, so you're nigger Jim. And he's like, yo, I just said Jim. <laughs> What's your name, little buddy? Huckleberry Finn is my name. Mm -hmm. What? H Huckleberry. That's your, your real name? God given. God given. <sighs> you know what? Just call me nigger Jim. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I don't care if you are black or white or whatever. If you ever meet a white person named Huckleberry, he has less money than you. Mm. That is the white trashiest name I've ever heard in my fucking life. If you have a name like Huckleberry, you're doomed to fail. Woo. All right. If I was in court and my lawyer came up and was like, I am your attorney, Huckleberry Finn, I'd be like, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm going to jail. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> God forbid I ever go to jail. But if I do, I hope it's in California. Because mm. as soon as the judge sends me, I'll be like, Your Honor, before you sentence me, I just went to court to know I identify as a woman. <laughs> Send me the woman prison. To woman's jail. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as I get in there, you know what I'm gonna be doing? Give me a fruit cocktail, bitch, before I knock your motherfucking teeth. <laughs> I'm a girl just like you, bitch. Ooh. Come over here and suck this girl dick I got. Don't make me explain myself. <laughs> I'm a girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why? <laughs> He's laughing over his own joke. Oh my God, this is the end. Damn, why? Okay, okay, okay. Um, this was really, really funny. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, like he's so funny. <laughs> I just like the fact that uh, that he was just so precise about the joke. And how can someone identify as a nigger? Why? <laughs> Why do you want to be identified as a nigger? Has it gone to that limit where people would just want to be identified as anything they want? Like, why? And how can the white people talk to you when how can they how can they even be white call you? Okay, nigga, I like you. No, no, no. But <laughs> and the part where he said, like, he went to the prison, like, and he would say he identified as a as a as a female, and they would just accept. Whereas they are seeing everything that makes up a man. You know, so I don't know. This pronoun stuff is getting really, really serious. And it, just like if you are feeling forms these days, if you want to feel a form where the right um, sex, they be like, okay, identify your sex, male, female, option. Right now, it's not, it's not, it's not others again. The right male, female, otherwise, put your own choice, identify what you feel like. So it's just a lot. And today he said he was not going to talk about transgenders. That he was going to talk about um handicaps and i felt like he went a, um, a little bit offensive on the handicap levels you know like making jokes of the handicap we know that it's not their fault of being handicapped but um <laughs> it was still funny by the way and anyways um that will be the end of this video. I will come back again with a lot more. So let me know what you think about this video. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you get an update. We we'll post another video. And shout out to everyone that have been subscribing, that everyone that have been following. So make sure you follow. Let's take this channel to 25k. Let's take it 25k upward. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching and watch us for more. Peace and God bless you.